Hello everyone and welcome to Wicked Art. My name is Wicked and we are going to get started with learning how to draw. Now there's many different things and tools and devices that you can use, but today we're just going to start simple, okay? You can either use a regular pencil like this where it's got an eraser. One thing that I would suggest using is one of these big erasers like this, okay? You can get these for real cheap in packs of four. They're really easy to come by, okay? If not, you can just use the eraser on your pencil, or if you have what one of my favorite things is a mechanical pencil. Now, I'm going to draw with this mechanical pencil, but you don't have to worry about that. If all you have is this basic regular pencil here, that's fine. It'll still turn out the same, okay? So, what we're going to do is start at a beginner level, Eventually, you can work your way up to intermediate, advanced. We're going to get into things like painting, uh, drawing and shading, compositions, learning how to draw characters, uh, digital art, all that stuff. All that things will come. But I want you to come on this journey with me and really learn how to draw. Okay? Now remember, there are a hundred different ways to draw. I'm just going to teach you my way and the way I do things. But the first thing I want to start with is the one thing that I see all the time is people tend to come in and not really you know they come in and, and when they draw they'll just start with like a straight line right so they'll say let's say they want to draw a dog they'll do this little outline and start with a hard line and start drawing whatever okay then when you try to erase it doesn't go away completely it leaves behind this little trace of what you're doing so today we're just gonna focus on sketching we're not gonna draw anything special we're just gonna focus on sketching and how to hold your pencil okay so most people when they hold their pencil they want to start real close now when you're working with fine details and things like that of course you want to come close so you have more control but when it comes to sketching we want to hold our pencil back a little bit I usually like to turn my hand sideways but I mean if you can go this way that's fine to each their own you gotta find that thing that works for you okay but I usually hold my hand sideways okay so when you want to come in here you want to lightly touch the paper now I'm gonna press down a little bit harder so that you can see better um, but you really want to loosen up your hand loosen up your wrist okay so we're gonna just kinda sketch a circle right now All right, you're gonna just let it flow and see all of these extra lines that are on here that's okay alright that's okay and I'm gonna show you why here in a second okay so as I complete my circle let's say I'm satisfied with what I got and notice this is something else I want to touch on this is not a perfect circle it's not the best circle in the world and that is okay do not be afraid to make mistakes okay it's gonna happen but that's why we sketch lightly okay so let's see what happens let's say I'm satisfied with this circle right so I'm gonna come back over and I'm gonna press down a little bit harder not enough to make it black but I'm gonna press down to that area of what I like so I like this circle looking just like this now I have all this loose stuff I can come in here with my eraser with the big one or you can use the one on your pencil it doesn't matter but I can come in here now and clean this up okay I can come in here now and clean this up. I'm going to do my best to keep my hand out of the way, all right? But basically all I'm doing is I'm just going around and cleaning up this circle, okay? Getting rid of all the excess loose lines, and that's, and that's something we would usually save for the end. So if I was doing a whole picture, like a character or something like that, that's what I would be doing is just cleaning this up, okay? So that it looks like a done finished circled all right so again you can use one of these erasers you can use eraser on your pencil that's fine okay so let's loosen up a little bit all right so I want you to sketch me out a triangle now look this is beginner of beginner course okay so if you have never picked up a pencil before or you just want to get back to basics this video is for you if you think you've already got sketching stuff down please just move on to the next video but we're gonna just sketch a little triangle so again I am holding my pencil far enough back that I can just loosely sketch the shape that I need. I have more control and can get it to where it is that I want it to be. Okay, so now I'm going to sketch me a square. Alright, so once you have that triangle down, you're going to come over here and you're going to sketch yourself a square. You just take your lines wherever you need them. Again, it does not have to be perfect. Look how crooked that line is. It's okay. I can go over that several times and fix it up to the shape that I want. Okay, so again, this is basic of the basic. Alright, so we got ourselves a circle, a triangle, and a square. 
this video is going to be kind of short today because this is real basic but what I what I challenge you to do is just go in and sketch different things like right now we can go ahead and we can do an oval which is a much longer circular shape so think of it kind of like an egg we're gonna go ahead and go around and sketch now notice how I jump back and forth on both sides that's so I can help keep it even somewhat but I can start turning around lightly sketching again we are being nice and loose if you want to you can come over here and just loosen up your hand and just get some things going uh, you can draw any shape that you want you know if you want to get an octagon in there or a hexagon whatever just draw whatever it doesn't have to be a thing okay I just want you to focus on loosening your hand up and sketching in some shapes okay so my challenge for you for your homework just think of this like as a warm-up and yes there will be homework on this because the way that I'm posting these videos will be weekly uh, so you should get two three videos a week what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a free draw Friday where we're just gonna have some fun I'll teach you how to draw something on that Friday uh, you'll have your lesson for the week and you'll do that all the way up to I'm gonna post these every Friday so from here until the next video practice just sketching shapes it seems tedious it seems like why am I doing this well the reason you're doing this is to get better you cannot there is no magic YouTube video out there that's gonna teach you how to be an artist practice is what's gonna teach you how to be an artist so really just when you have 30 minutes between your Fortnite game uh, you know when you're just sitting around doing nothing but watching TV pick up a piece of paper and lightly sketch and warm yourself up this is a great exercise too before you start the other videos of just loosening up and just doing the things see I'm just drawing random stuff it doesn't even have to be anything special okay so once again my name is Wicked I will see you in the next video I hope that you get loose and get ready for our first lesson and I will see you in the next one until then keep on sketching